In this video, we're going to look at how to bond new concrete to old concrete with SBR latex or styrene, styrene butadiene resin. If you need to know that, you're on the wrong YouTube channel. It's a, it's from what I understand, it's actually the strongest admixture or product that you can use in terms of how well you can chemically and mechanically bond new concrete to old concrete. It has limitations, like I believe it to be the least UV resistant, so it needs some sort of mechanical cover. You can't just have it out in the sun or I think it will, will fail kind of like an elastic band that was left out in the sun. It becomes brittle and it, it loses all its elasticity. Uh, but that's what I'm, I'm using today to bond new concrete to old concrete is SBR latex. And the first things first, are I need SSD conditions, saturated surface dry concrete, which means the concrete is thoroughly wet. It, it, it's completely saturated, but not so much that it's pooling water on top because that would be a problem uh, when you're bonding the new concrete to the old concrete. So you just keep wetting it down until you achieve the SSD conditions. And of course, this assumes that you're starting with a clean and prepared concrete surface, which is something that we already have achieved with these test blocks here. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can just uh, look in this, the description. There will be a list of links that you can follow to see the different ways that we're bonding new concrete to old concrete. But this video is SBR Latex and potentially the best, most advanced product that you can use. And what we're doing here is two parts Portland cement, sorry, two parts sand, one part Portland cement. And then we mix that with this X SBR latex product. No water at all in this. This is a very thin slurry, kind of like a cake batter. And you're going to paint it on to your SSD concrete. And not even just kind of like paint it on, but you want to like work it in there. And that's the idea with this SBR latex product when you're bonding new concrete to old concrete. We want to apply it to the whole thing. And then kind of just mechanically with the, the brush that you're using, or even a more stiff brush, uh, would be applicable for this. You can see I'm just a little bit dry there, so I don't want it to get ahead of me. Keep it nice and damp. And this is something that comes up in a lot of these videos is, well, should I apply my new concrete over top of this bonding slurry when the bonding slurry is wet or when the bonding slurry is dry? And the answer is, is that for most applications, it needs to be wet. You can't bond new concrete to old concrete when it's dry most of the time. And this is getting ahead of me here. This is in the nature of concrete. Even in this tiny little test block, I'm losing the pour here. Having like Vietnam flashbacks over here, guys. Anyway, so I want to get that new concrete in there. In this bucket, I have three parts sand, one part cement, and I need to get that on top of my SBR latex modified slurry before that slurry dries. And doing so is going to achieve a pretty sound bond between these layers, between the test block, which I prepared. And again, because I'm covering this up, I'm not too worried about the UV exposure, which is something that could potentially compromise an SBR latex type product. But in total, this should be one of the best ways to bond new concrete to old concrete. Be sure to tune back in and see the rest of these videos and see how this turns out.